Hi guys, I am here with another haul. So I went to a place in my city um, called Ollie's. And if you've never seen Ollie's, this is what it looks like. It is sort of like a big lots. If you have big lots, it's like this really big like bargain, not bargain center, but it's like a closeout type center and they sell things in a, at a significant price. Sometimes I kind of feel like they're actually cheaper than big lots if you have one. But I did look to see where they are um, located and they have them in North Carolina, which is where I am, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. I think those are all the ones that I've seen. Not sure if it's anywhere else. But I just wanted to share that with you because this place, and I should have put included some clippings in here this place has literally um i would say 25 percent of the store is a complete section of books um of any kind and they're all marked down to a smaller like a, a significant lower price for example this one is a price of $5.99 as you can see here US and the price at Ollie's was 99 cents so they're significantly significantly less and I forgot all about that place and the reason why I remembered is because my son brought home a scholastic book club um, order form from his school class that they're going to uh, place an order and of course I'll probably buy a couple of things but I usually wait until the Scholastic Warehouse sale to go since I'm a teacher I usually hit those up but homeschool teachers homeschool parents you guys are eligible to do that also I mean to be honest anybody can go in there and say I am a teacher or a homeschool person they don't look at IDs or anything but um, I usually go there because they're significantly lower than the book fair and the scholastic book club order since they're like at the end of the season it goes I'm sorry I'm on a tangent but the scholastic book the scholastic warehouse sales are in December and I believe in June so um I always rack up on books then and um, I get a few things with the book fairs that we have at my school and then um, we have those twice a year and it's before Christmas and it's usually before the warehouse sales and the one in the spring is usually buy one get one free so that's always a good one but um yeah so I went to Ollie's because I forgot all about this place and I I like this place and I went here quite often when my when Bryce my son was smaller I would get his books from there um, because they were priced like hard hard cover books that are usually like $15.99 or like $3.99 I was just like you can't beat that with a stick but I went ahead and um, went today just to get some new books and you know new interests and things like that so without rambling more I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the haul so the first book I got is something called um, uh, Pop Tropica and I asked my son if he knew what this was and he didn't but I thought it was really cool the um, the uh, synopsis or the little uh, what do you call it summary some short summary I'm draw a blank was pretty cool it says the princess of the kingdom of Arteris has been kidnapped and taken into space by an evil inventor named Mar Mordred one young hero our excuse me our young hero Simon and Alice must learn to build their own spacecraft and travel to the stars on an intergalactic quest to rescue the princess and save the kingdom and they have another they have all sorts of the tropical books but I got this one because it's a chapter book and I'm trying to build my son's stamina he's only in first grade and six but we started years ago reading chapter books and I kind of ventured off because he his his attention span was very short so we we went to picture books but I'm I'm really getting him I think he's in a good place where we can start picking up chapter books again so I got this one and it was only 99 cents originally 59 excuse me not 59 cents 99 cents and it was originally 5.99 I got a Skippy John Jones book. This is a sticker story, um, but it's really cute. 
is called uh, iCardramba. It's a, I don't know if it is a, um, guys, hold on for a second. I think it's just better for me to take it off the little, there we go. So, um, I don't know if it is a, I think it's a Valentine's book. But I love Skippy John Jones. So I got this. And that was $6.99. And I got it for $0.99. Cents. My son said that he's seen Dinosaur Train on TV, I believe. So I got Dinosaur, Dinosaur, Lord, Dinosaur Train, but he loses a tooth. He has not yet lost his tooth yet. So I thought this would be really cool for when he does lose his tooth to read this book to him. And it says it is... It was $3.99 and I got it for, I don't know if I can see it because of the glare, $0.49. Cents. Do you guys see that? What a good price. I also got another dinosaur train. It's called Wild Weather Tales and it's actually three stories in one. And being that this one was only $0.49, cents, I was like, ugh, I don't know. But I paid $2.29 for this, even though it was $4.99. And I'm like, really? This was $3.99 and it went to $4.49? I was like, this was not really a bargain. But I love the fact that it has, um, sorry for the glare, more than one story in it. So now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have picked it up because it wasn't a great deal. But I went ahead and got that. And then I got a um, another one, Tiny learns to fish this one was originally three three and this one was 99 cents so i'm really mad now because i i feel like i got gypped but maybe they came at different times so i got that one too i also got um madagascar on the run this was 3.99 and it was on sale for 99 cents i got uh veggie tales powered in training it's a beginning reading level one. The Madagascar one was a level three. And the level one here in the dinosaur train. I'm sorry I didn't say that. But guys, let me tell you something about these levels. They're not accurate. So you have to use your best judgment on what your child knows and what vocabulary words that you can kind of skim through the book and say, okay, I think he can identify these. Because every series is different. Every series is different. Um my first might be harder than what your child can read and it's saying that it's the first so it just depends okay so definitely look at the content and the words and the vocabulary before you say oh it's level one and my child can read it um just to you know be, be for sure but this one was 3.99 and it was 99 cents um and then I got a step into reading book I love these books but again not that accurate this one says step three which is reading on your own grades one through three which is a pretty big range guys if i do say so myself but it was priced at 12.99 and it um the original price was 12.99 and i got it for 1.99 at ollie's i got this more so um for us to read together because there are some words that he does know and most words that he knows in here but i went ahead and got that because i thought it was the wedgie man to the rescue i thought that was pretty cute um, I also got this one called Gid the Kid and the Black Bing Bandits. It's Heroes of Promise Series Book 1. They actually have um, these here are also the other books. And it is written and illustrated by the Miller Brothers. It says doing the right thing ain't always easy. Of course, this is more of a... Um, a folk tale or folklore or tall tale or whatever the case is but it does deliver a uh, lesson or a message at the end and I thought it was cute because it is based on the Bible um, it says doing the right thing ain't always easy as the first book in the series of promise promise series get the kid and the black bean bandits introduces children to the concept of trusting god and dealing with bullies based on the story of gideon from the bible judges 6 11 through 7 25 get the kid teaches a valuable lesson about standing up for what's right even when it isn't easy in the story get learns that the west can get a little wild not because of people who do wrong but because of good people who don't stand up for what is right so I love this. I love the message and I particularly loved it 
because of the uh, illustrations. I thought that was really cool. And I love the way they modernized it. I don't know if you can see that. They modernized the story and the content um, based on biblical messages. So I thought that was really cool too. And I did see the other one, but I didn't pick it up and I should have. This was priced at, let me actually see how much this was. It doesn't say, unless the sticker is over it. I bet the sticker's over it. Yep. Um, it doesn't say how much the original price was, but I only got it for $1.99. But you can only imagine, guys, what a hardback book like this costs. I'm sure it was like in the $15 range. And then the last one I got, I kept thinking, do I want to get it? Do I want to get it? Is the Animal Planets book. I've never had one of these, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's called My Life in the Wild Penguin, a life cycle book. I just thought it was really cool. And guys, as a teacher, it's important to know that nonfiction books are really what children, as they're getting older, tend to not lure themselves to. They love the fiction and the entertaining part of it. But my son seems to have a little take on nonfiction as any younger student does. Um, but as they venture into like the fourth and fifth grade, sometimes it gets a little wonky when it comes to nonfiction, especially since they're tested for it and they're learning their strategies and skills based off of it, of it. And it could be a little a little challenging in that nature. But I went ahead and got this because it's, it's really good to expose your children early. So I love this. It is it says. Uh, evocative narrative weaves a story around the life cycle of a young penguin as it grows from an egg to adult. Stunning illustration focuses in on the details of his everyday life, from the secure comfort of the family group to the daily dangers of life in the Antarctic and threats from fierce predators for reading together and for budding young readers to read alone. I got this one because of what it said. The illustrations are awesome. Look at that. I love it. And I also love the fact that it's doing the story based on the baby's point of view. Something that has not yet, in this part of the story, has been born. But it is nonfiction. It's just put in a narrative form. And I love that. I love that. So I guess it can be considered realistic fiction. I don't know. But I love it. Look at that. Look at the illustration. I love that. So I got it. I went ahead and got it. This one was originally $9.99 and it was at Ollie's for $2.99. And then after I left the um, book section, I went into like the toy section or game section. No, I didn't. This was in the book section. It was in like the, the activities or the work. Um, ones and I looked at it and I was like eh, I don't know about this but then I looked harder as I was getting ready to leave and I was like oh my god I have to snag this this is called word fun and this is called math fun it is by the company capstone and I don't know if you can get this from anywhere else but as you can see it is half off it was $19.99 I don't know if you can see that's kind of upside down it was $19.99 but I got it for $9.99 and it's for ages 7 to 10 he's he's 6 but he's turning 7 soon but it's never too late to expose for the word one it says that kids learn the eight parts of speech it said that it includes capital letter, period, comma, plural word, question mark, exclamation point, pronoun, noun, alliteration, verb, adjective, adverb, apostrophe, and preposition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Um, oh, the slides. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I got this for the simple fact that I thought this was pretty cool. And it... I have to open it to kind of, well, I guess I could show you the picture on the back. But it says, if you are a book in the Word Fun series, you will introduce basic math concepts using simple text, engage interest with goofy, fresh um, examples, tickle readers with the whimsical cast of characters, and encourage and celebrate a love for numbers. 
and it has a tracking poster it has a bookmark and it has stickers it says this word fun set has 14 fabulous books that help teach kids basic language concepts with simple text and fresh colorful characters the large poster and matching stickers provided are tools to help youngsters stay engaged by tracking their reading progress need to mark a page there's a matching bookmark included too i really want to open this guys so give me a second i won't open the the math one let me put you down for a second i won't open the math one well maybe i will i don't know um but i just say you know what i'm gonna invest in this because by golly this sounds pretty darn cool um so yes i did go ahead and get this because definitely something that he can literally revisit like until he's hit fifth grade, which is good because we can always revisit it. Oh, okay, let me do it this way. All right, so, ugh. now I can pick you guys up, sorry about that. Okay, so this is the, um, the map. It does date and time. And you put the sticker right there. And then here are the coordinating stickers that you put on the map. And I can't find the bookmark yet. But these are the books. Like they're legit like normal size books they're not the little itty bitty books that usually come in boxes like this 14 of them guys look at that if you are a capital letter if you are a capital letter you would stand wait sorry <laughs> if you are a capital letter you would stand out look at that and it actually would shows this capital letters how awesome is that? And then here's one for if you are a comma. Oh man, this one, commas are always a different, a difficult one. If you are a comma, you could take a trip to the North Pole. You could buy pack, you could pack your bags and see how they point out the comma. Jump on an airplane and fly off an adventure. Off on adventure, excuse me. And the illustrations are pretty cute too. All right, and then the next one is the math fun, and it has the 14 fun math books, tracking tools with the same thing, and here's some of the illustrations, the same thing, has a bookmark with that too, and let me see if I can, I should have opened this one at the same time, sorry guys. I'm just so excited about this find. I'm so excited about this find. If you guys are interested in this, I can definitely go and pick you up one. Um, we can, you know, get up and arrange to get one. I know everybody doesn't have an Ollie's. I'm sorry, guys. I should have opened this before my video, but um, I can definitely we can arrange something where I can pick you up one or anything that you see that you might not have or whatever. I am like all about helping out here. I'm a teacher, so definitely want to be of any type of help to anybody. Whoa. All right. So this is the same same format here. All the books comes with the poster and everything I'm just gonna jump into the books this one says if you were a divide by sign if you were a divide by sign you would divide one number by another number and look they have a visual of a pizza pie with three friends four hungry hyenas have a pizza pizza party they divide a large pizza equally 16 slices divided by four hyenas equals four slices each and they also show the equation 
or the number sentence. So that's pretty cool. Of course, he wouldn't be using this anytime soon, but I thought that was pretty cool. And let me show one more plus sign. Here we go. If you are a plus sign. So look at this. Perfect. So guys, this is all that I have for today. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment and talk to you soon. Bye.